Hello everybody, welcome back for, I guess this is uh, part 16 now. It's really just a quick addendum to part 15. Um, I decided that since I'm posting these on the video, I should do that. I did notice a problem when I went and reviewed that video, which definitely made it in my notes for the summer camp uh, for changing the lecture. Let me speed up, speed up the cycle here real quick and run this to notice what, uh, well, it felt like a bug. Once I did it, so we go through the day and night cycle, and that seems to be working good. It's going pretty quickly. Uh, whatever that is, it moves 15 degrees every second. So uh, is that 16 times uh, around the circle, or whatever that is to get her? However many seconds that is to get her all the way around. It seems to be working good, uh, but it's a nice even split to do it in one line of code, which means that. That would be accurate for two days of the year, but on neither of those days, uh, neither the fall nor the uh, spring equinox, would we have nice full leaves on our trees. So that even night and day seemed a little off when I thought about it. So I thought I'd come back and do a quick adjustment. Uh, I'll leave the speed up so we can see it. So instead of just doing this, I want to add a selection structure in and this is based off Python so it'll look like our thing so if our rotation is halfway around and since some people watching the video might not be familiar with radians I'm gonna print that out so we can see what the number is just do our selection structure um, it's between 0 and negative pi radians uh, but some people watching this video might not be familiar with measuring degrees and radians. So notice it starts at zero and through the day it's negative, it keeps going down. Um, about halfway past halfway through the day, here comes the ninth. So ninth starts right around negative pi. And then from negative pi to negative two pi is nighttime. And then the sun will come back up about 6.2. So, if we want to represent other day, other days of our game, oh yeah, and, um, you can just print to the output. There's uh, definitely debugging printing features to the to an output console in all of the game engines. Uh, we need to set up a selection structure, which that is what we do most often in game dev. I guess that's why I decided to go ahead and include it here as an addendum to the uh, the intro to the script video instead of adding that in later because this function that runs every frame of our game handles most of our looping so we don't do a whole lot of uh, we don't do a whole lot of loops in game development we do selection structures which this uses python syntax so f on that rotation so rotation.x if we're um, less than 0 uh, and bigger than negative 3.14 uh, if we're bigger than negative 3.14 and let me do it this way uh, I mean I'm thinking of night first so if we're less than negative 3.14 and we are still bigger than uh, 6.29 about twice as much as pi then that should be nine time so on most of earth most days of the year days and daytime and nighttime are not an even cycle so i'm gonna make this um three times that speed that we're rotating for ninth uh otherwise then we'll move at that regular speed and to make sure we stay in this because it would just keep incrementing and going around and around and around a circle is fine but uh we can reset it afterwards with another if statement so if uh rotation dot x gets smaller than negative 6.29 we can reset it to zero 
So this is probably a better introduction to scripting. That's why I decided to do it as an addendum. Uh, if we're uh, if we're between zero and negative three point one four, so halfway around our circle, the bottom half of our circle, ooh, that should be a negative. Uh, if we're half in the bottom half of our circle, it's going at that speed we set, and if we're in the top half of our circle, which at that point, that's where the sun's pointing away from us, so it's simulating night time. We want to move three times quicker so that the night passes quicker than the day. Just for um, a little effect in there, and I decided to do the addendum because we do lots of selection structures. This would be a more typical example and probably a better representation of that. So if I run that, I'm going to leave the speed up so we can see the difference. I'll turn that back down to something more reasonable later. So we can see the day. It passes slowly, our shadows slowly move, and then the sun shadows get long, and then night rolls in. But night is much quicker than day, and the day rolls in a lot quicker. Night passes quickly, and then it's daytime again. Uh, I just thought I'd add that addendum uh, to the previous video because that seems like it makes a better introduction to uh, basic game game development scripting, and a better simulation of the passage of time. Uh, that first one would have worked on the either the spring or fall equinox, but if we look at our tree, well, go to 3D script, if we look at our tree, we would not have full foliage on either one of the days that have equal lengths of day and night. So, thought I'd add that addendum, and um, I'll see you in the next video where we get on to the next topic and we'll start doing stuff with our character. More interesting things with our character in the script. See you then.